Now, after landing in Philadelphia, Prime Minister Modi went to Delaware, where he met U.S. President Joe Biden at his residence and conducted bilateral talks. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and Indian Ambassador to the U.S. Vinay Mohan Quatra were also part of the delegation that met Joe Biden. Prime Minister Modi also attended the fourth Quad summit along with Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and U.S. President Joe Biden. Every year, 150,000 women die from cervical cancer in the Indo Pacific. Every year. That's more than double the population of this city. We can't and will not let that continue. The four of us are proud democracies. We're coming together to deliver a better hope, more hope for our people. In practice, the Quad Cancer Moonshot means more collaboration between our hospitals, research centers, and cancer foundations, more investment in screenings, treatment, and research, and more exchanges between our countries to improve vaccination rates all across the region. Right now, only one in ten women across the Indo-Pacific, which is the most populated part of the world, have received HPV vaccinations for cervical cancer. So I'm proud to announce that our four countries, the leaders behind me, and many organizations here today are committing over $150 million for HPV, HPV screening and therapeutics. And next year, doctors and nurses from the U.S. Navy will begin a program to train Indo-Pacific counterparts in conducting cervical cancer screening and vaccination so we can reach every woman in the region. And it matters. Folks, let me close with this. During my first year as president, I received a letter from a mother from Tennessee. She'd been recently diagnosed with cervical cancer. She said she experienced it, every emotion, from denial to anger to fear to grief. She don't I remember those feelings as well. But when she asked herself, what am I going to do? Am I going to give up? Am I going to fight? She answered, I choose to fight. We've got to choose to fight choose to fight as a society. Ladies and gentlemen, today America, Australia, India, and Japan choose to fight. For every patient asking for one more day, one more week, one more year, every survivor and caregiver who carries the scars of recovery, and every person who's lost, and every person we can save, because there's only, there's truly nothing beyond our capacity when we act together, not even beating cancer. The Quad agreed to work together to improve access to COVID vaccines. As a direct result, more than 400 million vaccine doses made their way into communities in the Indo-Pacific. That changed lives and it saved lives. That's what the Quad Cancer Moonshot Initiative is all about as well. This program builds on one of President Biden's signature policy initiatives, not just in his term as president, but throughout his time in public life. It's a reflection of the ambition and empathy, the vision and compassion that has defined President Biden's leadership. One in four global cervical cancer cases occur in the Indo-Pacific. And tragically, women in the Pacific die of the disease at up to 13 times the rate of women in Australia. These people are not numbers. They are our neighbours, members of our Pacific family, and we're stepping forward to help. Today, I can announce that Australia is expanding our funding commitment to the Elimination Partnership in the Indo-Pacific for Cervical Cancer, known as EPIC. Alongside a generous contribution from the Mindaroo Foundation, the expansion will use Australian cervical cancer expertise to help more partner governments get HPV vaccine programs up and running across the region. Regarding our support for measures against cancers in the Indo-Pacific region, Japan has offered support such as the deployment of equipment and technical cooperation or support through international organizations and initiatives. We are also collaborating with research institutions working on cancers in the United States, Australia, and India. Regarding 
the measures against cervical cancers. We have supported the deployment of medical equipment and facilities, offered technical cooperation, or have contributed to international organizations including Gavi Vaccine Alliances, UNFPA, and IAPPF, among others, and such endeavors will continue going forward. We will uh, cooperate with you closely in order to bring together the technologies and networks of the Quad to raise the effects of our measures against cancers even further. Rohit Sharma has more details on this story. Rohit, we heard from all heads of the state over there. Clearly, this is something that means a lot to them. But to one in particular, that in uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, this has more meaning uh, and we heard from him as well. Could you tell us uh, more about this initiative and what is going to be India's contribution to it going forward? Well, you know, you, you, you hit the nail on, on the head. You know, this is very close uh, to President Biden. You know, he, he talked about his son, Bo, uh, who, who lost his life to, to cancer. Uh, the moonshot, uh, you know, this initiative was actually, uh, it was implemented by White House two years ago. Uh, and this is expanding it uh, to Quad and making sure that this, you know, by Joe Biden leaves his legacy. Now, as far as India is concerned, you know, Prime Minister Modi, called it that India's vision is is one earth and one health. Uh, he talked about donating $7.5 million, uh, providing support in radiotherapy uh, treatment, opening up centers for research, uh, contributing with vaccines. And he talked about that this is the essence of our human approach. I mean, so something, you know, he obviously talking about uh, the value of, of human life. Uh, what it means for India is, you know, India is taking a central stage, uh, you know, in court. Uh, and, and by donating the, this much amount of money, by talking about research, by making sure that people have access uh, to radiotherapy treatment, I think India is obviously trying to meet the goal set uh, by the, the Quad leaders. And it is a very important initiative because I think, you know, some of these things usually never get talked about uh, as much as they should, uh, but getting the right kind of attention from a alliance that's, you know, uh, from India, US, Japan, uh, and Australia, I think it puts it right at the, the center. And you probably would see, uh, you know, that some of the other nations would also want to contribute uh, to, to this initiative. So Joe Biden uh, clearly making sure that, you know, something, uh, his legacy or it would be remembered in this in this form with the Cancer Moonshot uh, initiative. Uh, and India, obviously, you're playing central part with the contribution that it can make to us making sure that such an important issue is dealt with. And look, the Prime Minister actually talked about it in his opening remarks uh, at the Quad when he said, you know, there are other issues that have to be resolved. A lot could be achieved if the Quad, you know, does what it's supposed to do, is to help out other countries as well. So clearly, you know, uh, sticking uh, to, to what the leaders have said, and this is a great initiative as far as Quad is concerned. Right, right. Thank you so much for bringing us all those details.